Welcome back to Viking Football with Bruce Barnum. Final episode of the season as the Vikings prepare to play Eastern Washington. The game this Saturday up in Cheney, Washington will be televised on Root Sports 3 p.m. It will air on the radio in Portland on a different station this week because of a conflict with the Blazers. Uh, the Viking radio broadcast will be on 103.7 FM, The Legend. So you can tune in there to hear the game. And uh, we will talk about the Eagles in just a moment. Coach, uh, we're going to touch briefly on Weber State. Not a real good memory. Uh, the Wildcats came in and proved they were uh, as good as their ranking, 14th in the nation. Um, talk a little bit about that defense, because that defense was the real deal. They came in with the best in the big sky, and they proved it. They did. Um, they put together a group of uh, transfers, some older kids that played well. Uh, they are playing well. I think they'll take a run in the playoffs. Uh, the offense knew it was going to be a challenge to get things done and be consistent, um, and that's what you saw. So uh, kudos to them on that. Uh, and the one thing that I would note from that, Davis Alexander uh, threw a lot of passes again, some out of necessity as the Vikings were playing catch-up, uh, you, and you probably maybe even got a little too out of balance uh, with the pass and the run, but he didn't turn the football over, and I think that's probably the positive you can take from the offense. It is. Um, saw some good things. Saw some great catches, some great plays. Uh, just the consistency of it, um, of our, and, and again, it's, uh, it's Weber on top of it too, but our execution uh, wasn't there offensively to, to win a football game. Okay, and as we talk about Eastern Washington, uh, notably a great offense year in and year out. They do give up a few points. Uh, they always have, but they've always had such a good offense uh, that it's been uh, tough to get wins against that team. Now, the Vikings have actually had a pretty good history in recent years up in Cheney. Last time the Vikings were there, they came away with a win. Um, but they're pretty balanced, actually. You, you think about their passing game, the running game is there as well with Antoine Custer, and of course, the quarterback, Gage Gubrud, runs the football really well. Tough to deal with. They are. Um, consistent uh, program. They've had a, uh, you know, the transition with Aaron's been great. Uh, best, their head coach, uh, seemed not to miss a beat uh, from losing Bo, but um, talented on both sides, uh, playing well on both sides right now. And the Eagles ranked 18th in the nation, but really they desperately need a win to get a shot at the playoffs. And I would think that if they got that seventh win, uh, they would likely be in based on their past history. So probably they'll have a little extra in the tank this Saturday. I think the Vikes will too. The Vikes need a win as well, Mike. So it's a rivalry game. Um, every time I've been a part of this game, even when I played um, back in the 80s, it was the Portland State, uh, Eastern Washington, it was always a game, no matter who had what going through their season. Uh, you saw it when we went up there uh, our playoff year uh, two years ago, and it's been vice versa. So I predict, uh, just because of the rivalry, a lot of kids know each other. We know their coaches, they know us, et cetera, uh, that this is going to be a tight, fun-to-watch football game. Well, it certainly was last year, the Eagles winning that one, 35-28 to Portland State. And the Eagles uh, went into the fourth quarter. The game was still in question, and they scored late to uh, get a victory. Um, the one thing about Eastern Washington, as I mentioned, they do give up a few yards. They do give up a few points. But they also uh, have proven they can get to the quarterback, and that was a little bit of the trouble the Vikings had last week against Weber State. Uh, how, what kind of adjustments are you making this week to take care of Davis Alexander back there? Well, you, you do a lot. You look at it, and you see, because that's what your opponent's going to attack. Um, we have a, a, one, some youth up there uh, that they got after a little bit, but we need to do more as coaches, moving the pocket, um, screens, draws, you know, keep the D-line off balance. Uh, so uh, move that in, uh, be able to throw quick, be able to throw hot, make sure he has somewhere to put the football. And, you know, staying um, second and, and medium uh, is easier to throw and, and pick a defense apart uh, than second along. Okay, now as we look ahead uh, uh, here at the end of the season, uh, one thing we've noted here in practice happened last week, just happened again today, the Futures game. you got about 10 or 15 minutes of a live scrimmage with the young guys, the red shirts, the guys who are uh, the second and third string guys that are going to be uh, a bigger part of it next year. And uh, talk a little bit about the Futures games. I think there'll probably be another one later this week again. There's one more on Thursday uh, to end it, but I wish uh, we could do it every week mike but you can't at the fcs level you cannot uh, you don't have enough student athletes on scholarship but uh, we're going to look in the future uh, you know i'm looking ahead we have to make sure we're ready 
uh, for next season. And this has given us a chance to evaluate our guys before spring um, and head into recruiting. That's why we're doing it. All and right. It's fun. And it's fun. They're having a blast. Well, there's no question it's fun as the teams, uh, uh, it's great to see the spirit of the starters racing onto the field when one side of the football makes a big play. That was fun. Uh, into it, uh, a good spark, uh, add some juice to practice. Okay, the obvious uh, challenge this year, the adversity the Vikings have dealt with, the challenge to win football games this year, it's been tough. What do you hope your team uh, will take away from this? What, what can they take from this season? You know, um, how to fight, Mike, how, where you don't want to be. You know, it's easy uh, when you're winning uh, nine, ten, whatever games, you're in the playoffs. That's an easy season. Um, you find out the true character and what we're finding out and the team's finding out um, is who, who really loves the game and who, who, you're gonna, who you want to line up with. Uh, so that's been interesting to watch when you put kids this age through adversity. Uh, and teaching them how to act and how to respond. Um, that'll be the ticket going into next season. All right, Friday morning, we're going to get on the bus. I'm not going to sit next to you because you need your space. <laughs> but I want to know. Everybody has their own seat, not just me, Mike. All right, I want to know what's on the movie docket. We just talked about it. Uh, we just talked about it. I, I, I saw some, uh, looked at the genres. There's some horror uh, coming jumping on that I haven't. Um, seen in a while. I don't like horror movies. No, you know, I'm not up on them either, but you know, I'm more of a comedy guy. Uh, there was a Will Ferrell movie I told him to get, but I guess it just started in theaters, not the DVD store. Uh, that always adds to it. So we're, we're probably going to have to have our uh, bounce, get the great outdoors back on. I get John Candy just for tradition. Uh, the kids want to watch Shawshank, you know. Um, and there was actually one more that I, we weren't sure. Um, if the team had ever seen, but I want them to watch uh, Denzel and Man on Fire. A good drama, you, you know, shoot them up, keep them awake for a little while while we're driving out to the mighty Palouse. But um, so far, that's all I know. I got my guy in charge of it today. That's a pretty diverse group. Uh, the Great Outdoors, Man on Fire, what was, oh, Shawshank. That's a good group of movies, so uh, a lot of intrigue on the bus this week. The Vikings heading to Eastern Washington once again this Saturday, 3 p.m. game. You can watch it on Root Sports. You can hear it on the radio, 103.7 FM, The Legend. Get all your information on Viking football at GoVikes.com.